Okay, I thought I'd start another video and I like to talk about, you know, my aunt. Um, I'm just coming to grips with the fact that I'm a witch. I've been called a witch, you know, uh, since I was a child. When I used to go to school, kids would laugh and call me a witch and ask me, you know, had you fed your batch yet and stuff like that. And did you bring your broom today because I need to ride on your broom and get away home and stuff like that. My life was miserable when I was 12, 13, 14, 15 years old because, you know, um, it really just hurt my feelings. So now I'm embracing the fact that I'm a witch. Um, I was adopted and um, when my mom, my adopted mama died, she never told me I was adopted. I had a curiosity to know who my birth mother was. So when I found her, you know, she um, told me I had an aunt in uh, Alabama. I was born in Selma, Alabama, and um, I was adopted and brought to Birmingham, Alabama. And uh, so what I did, you know, I went to Montgomery, Alabama to meet my aunt because my mom, my birth mom, had moved to Boston, Massachusetts, and uh, it was too far for me to go and travel. So I went to see the closest relative I could, which was my aunt in um, Alabama, uh, Montgomery. And uh, when I got a chance to meet her, you know, uh, it was a good meeting. I mean, we really clicked and had a good time, you know, and stuff. And as I got to know her and stuff, you know, I began to see some characteristics in her at the time I thought was evil because I was raised as a Christian, Baptist in the church, and was taught the things that I could do and the things I couldn't do. So um, some of the things I saw my aunt doing and practicing I thought was evil. You know, and um, so, you know, some things went down and we lost contact and stuff like that. And uh, she just turned kind of crazy on me. You know, she really did. She cussed me out, turned crazy on me. I don't know why, but she did. We lost contact. But some of the things I noticed that she was doing, she was like doing some things that was um, causing like some uh, poltergeist type things going on in the house and stuff like that and you know you know doing uh, she I mean she's a true witch and uh, in a neighborhood which would uh, do things for people like some the spells they want to cast on people that done them wrong and stuff like that things I thought was just so wrong you know and she was displaying some some habits like that you know because she, I'll, I'm not going to tell you too much of what was going on, but I'll tell you like a little tad bit of one of the spells she she done for somebody. Somebody uh, said their husband was uh, unfaithful. So what she told him to do was to take the man's underwears and put them in the freezer. Well, she said when they kept the underwears in the man's freezer, he hadn't been able to get a hard on since, you know, due to that. And she told me about some of the spells you can do to the woman. You know, you can get a hold to the woman's panties, bury them. If you bury her panties, she'll have, she'll continue to have female problems until she dies. Stuff like that, you know, that she said was, you know, that would work. And at the time, I was like, I don't think that's cool. I don't, that's an aunt that I just do not think I'm going to be, you know, bothered with for a while or whatever. But as she began to tell me more and more of her spells and I just got more and more interested and stuff, you know. And then, you know, after the breakup, we got back together, and she just began to tell me even more of her spells. <laughs> and as she just really got into her love spells and all of her stuff, you know, I began to get so curious, you know, about the dark side, you know, because I know I was raised uh, sheltered and restricted and Christian and Baptist, so I began to get interested. Wow, man, this stuff sounds interesting. You know, I'm going to try some of this, you know. And so it was this guy that I liked. And so I tried one of her love spells. <laughs> it was so crazy, but uh, I tried it, you know. But um, even though I'm married, I shouldn't have been trying to spell, but I tried it, you know. But you can't try these spells if you're in a relationship. They don't work quite right. So she told me, she said, if you want to attract this man, all you got to do is uh, you write his name backwards and your name backwards. And you keep writing it, and you keep writing it on a page, and you fill the page up, and she said backwards. Everything has to be written backwards, and he'll come to you. What he was doing, he was coming all right, but he kept coming to my husband. 
<laughs> Every time I turned around, my husband said, you know what? I just saw Caesar. I saw Caesar. Caesar was at my job. I'm like, he was. Caesar was at the park. He was. I'm tired of seeing Caesar. I saw him on the freeway. <laughs> Caesar came up to me. So what was going on, the fact that if you're in a relationship, you can't play those games. And she warned me. She said, don't play games like that when you're in these relationships because uh, it would call it would cause havoc, you know, whatever. Because that could have been kind of like some, some bad stuff going on. So guys, don't. Don't do love spells if you're already in a relationship. Get rid of that relationship and then work on these spells, you know. But anyway, my aunt would just do some things. Now, one thing that really got me that my aunt did that really shocked me is we went out that day. And she said, okay, she she has a voodoo doll that she made on her table. She, she does some of the most awesome voodoo dolls. She has them hanging on her doorknobs all over the house or what have you. And she has one on her table it's a huge nice looking doll I wish I had it right now but it watches her house when she leaves she said now if there's any kind of evil spirits I want you she told the doll I want you to let me know she we locked the door and we left and she said now if she done tipped herself over to the left then that means a spirit done came along but if she's still standing straight, that means everything's straight in the house, whatever. So, we left and when we got back, I'm a dog gone. If that dog went tipped over to the left, I'm like, how did that dog move? We come back and the dog done moved. Then did a whole 90 degree turnover. And it shows, anyway, she can make things move like her little dolls and stuff like that. She had these special powers that she did. And she was a strange person because her house always smelled like sulfur different metals like metals like forks and spoons and stuff like that and she was a very strange character um uh kind of give you an idea how she was she's dumb dark skin but she's darker than me like a midnight black and but her eyes she had hazel eyes and uh they turn colors they go all the way from hazel to blue so she had changeable eyes and stuff and i thought that was one of the most mysterious things I've ever seen on this this lady or whatever. So, anyway, you know, um, kind of give you some ideas of uh, why I've chosen to to do what I do. I like it, you know, because I was like suicidal, you know, until I found, you know, found myself. And I when I found myself, I decided that I would like to uh, go in the way of the witches and run with the wolves. And uh, it's given me purpose in my life. Uh, I, I no longer feel lost with no purpose, with no existence. Uh, now I have something to look forward to. Because, like I said, you know, I had been depressed for a long time. I couldn't find my way uh, because of what I've gone through. I'm an adopted child. Never was told I was adopted. And I had nothing to look forward to. And when I found this, you know, it's always something exciting always something to look forward to uh, I feel like I, I have something to share with other people by the fact I'm an artist I have so many more uh, subjects I can paint from you know because when I first started painting I was like what am I going to paint flowers hmm. I had no purpose what am I going to paint a bowl of fruit you know just was just doing whatever you know um, so when I really got into uh, the craft it was just like, I mean, it's so many paintings I have to paint. I, I just can't wait to get started. My God. You know, I got this painting now I'm going to work on. It's going to be the physical world going on. And then uh, all around them and up above the heads, you're going to see the spiritual world going on. The different demonic entities and stuff like that. Uh, angelic uh, creatures and stuff, you know, carrying on their ways and stuff. I just see these beautiful, bold paintings, you know. That I got to paint or whatever. But anyway, I want to share that with you too. So, I'll be back.